Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Fan Movie Trivia Schmodown. I am your host today, Case Cornelissen, uh, because, of course, Chris is competing. And with me today is my teammate in the Harry Potter match, Ryan McClellan. Ryan, what do you think about this match? Well, I think that the uh, Patriots are going to win the Super Bowl. Uh, oh, wait, I'm sorry. No. All right. We got Chris Dolman and we got John Stowell. Well, see, Chris beat me. So I kind of feel like I have to go against him because he's an asshole. But um, I don't know. Honestly, these are some pretty evenly matched competitors. Whoever set this match up did a good job. Yeah, I, I can't I can't pick either way. But I wouldn't cry if uh, Chris lost. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, we work too much with Chris to really, like, uh, root for him. We're like, ah, oh, you, Chris. We hate you. Yeah, basically. That's essentially how. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, speaking of which, hey, Chris, you're here too, right? Yeah, I am. <laughs> and you're, you're lucky I'm not, I'm, not, you're lucky I'm not firing you both. But um, <laughs> 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 um, but no, today is gonna be a, a it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a great match. I I see this being one of one of the greats of the fan league period, and I'm. I'm I'm I'm, pri- I'm privileged to have such a, such a great opponent today. Oh, thank you, Chris. I appreciate that very much. Uh, same too. I mean, well, I mean, you're the guy who runs things. You're the unofficial Hall officer. So going against you, that's some some challenge. Thank you. Indeed, it is a challenge. By the way, if, if you're the unofficial Hall officer, am I then the unofficial Ellis right now? I guess that, I, was... I guess I guess that would make you that because you're you co-host the most often. Yeah, the, the only thing, though, is that whenever Ellis uh, competes, and Christian can host in the other way around. So, technically, I sh- shouldn't host, but we're not in a team together, so whatever. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, if we're then all set, let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Fan Movie Trivia Schmodown. Introducing first, with a record of two wins, one defeat, we have Chris... Skywalker Doman. And introducing second, with a record of two wins, no defeats, he is Jono, the kid, Stowell. Hey. All right. Let's do this. So round one is going to go like this. Each of you will get four questions from four predetermined categories. Every answer will give you one point. There is no stealing in this round. And... There are two different categories you can choose from. Jono, because you are the higher rank competitor, would you like to go first or second? Uh, I'll go second. All right, sounds good. And Chris, would you like to receive category one or category two? I'll take category two. Okay, I will ask the questions to Chris and Ryan will ask the questions to Jono. Okay, for your first question, sci-fi fantasy in the force awakens who says the girl knows her stuff han solo that's correct for one point wow what a shocker chris answered a star Mm. wars question correctly wow so great (laughs) uh believe me there are not not, not this match based on his last game (laughs) Okay, Chris, for your second question, category of comic book movies. In Captain America Civil War, which city is the airport in where the famous airport scene takes place? Uh, Leipzig. That is incorrect. We were looking for Berlin, Germany. Okay, Ryan, you're going to ask the question to Jono. Correct. And, Jono, in your first question in the category of sci-fi, sci-fi fantasy, fantasy. Okay. what type of herb does Harry Potter take to breathe underwater in the Goblet of Fire? Gillyweed. That is correct. First point. Next question in the category of comic book films. In Guardians of the Galaxy, Rocket gives Yondu to the count of how many to give Peter Quill and Gamora back? Three. That is incorrect. It's the count of five. Oh, okay. You to the count of five. <laughs> anyway, 
Chris, in your third question in the category of animated, who voiced Joy in Inside Out? Amy Poehler. Yeah. Correct for another point. Question in the category of box office. What Terminator movie had the highest domestic opening weekend? Is it A, T2 Judgment Day, B, T3 Rise of the Machines, C, Terminator Salvation, or D, Terminator Genesis? A. That is incorrect. We were looking for B, T3 Rise of the Machines. All right. All right, back over to Jono. In the category of animated, what is the name of the hornbill in The Lion King? Uh, Zazu. That is correct for your second point. And your final question in the first round, category of box office. Behind Titanic, what was domestically the highest grossing movie of 1997? Was it A, The Lost World, B, Liar, liar, C, Men in Black, or D, Air Force One? I'm going to go with Men in Black. That is correct. Damn. That wow. is correct. Good, good, uh, good answer good there. First round. Jono Indeed. leading Chris 3 to 2. Very close as we go into round 2. And round 2 will go like this Each of you will get four questions from a category you both select. Uh, by yourselves. If you don't like the category you first get, you can choose again, but you will have to stick with the second category. <laughs> there is multiple choice available, but it will uh, make your point value go down to one, and there is stealing in this round. Jono, because you are ahead, would you like to go first or second? I'll go first, please. Alright, Jono goes first. You're Categories in round two are action adventure, Marvel, Disney, spy movies, movie release dates, and sci fi fantasy. Please pick a number between one and six. Five. Okay, five is sci fi fantasy. Would you like to stick with that or do something else? Okay, as much as it's probably wise to stick with that, I'm gunning for movie release dates. So I'm going again and I'm going to pick number two. Number two is the category of Marvel. Oh, so you will okay. With that. Okay. So, all right, Jono. For your first question in the category of Marvel, what is the name of the girl that Tony Stark sleeps with at the beginning of Iron Man? Oh, my God. Um, Jesus Christ. Uh, can I get multiple choice on that, please? Yes, you can. The options are A, Christine, B, Carol, C, Carrie, or D, Kate? Oh, um... Oh my word, I'm gonna go with Christine. That is correct for one point. Good song, good movie. <laughs> Certainly a good movie. Speaking of not so good movies though, finish the quote from Spider-Man 3. Look at Little Goblin Jr. Uh, oh my god, um... Okay, let me think. I haven't seen that in a long time. Uh, can I have multiple choice again, please? Damn it, I didn't want to do that. Yeah. The options are A, you're a disgrace. B, your father would be disappointed. C, you're going to cry. Or D, did you wet yourself? Going to cry. That is correct for another point. Slowly but surely, moving forward. For your third question. In the category of Marvel, what member of the Avengers does not try to lift Thor's hammer in Age of Ultron? Hmm. Hulk. That is incorrect. First chance to steal. Black Widow. That is correct. For two, two points. points. Oh. Steal for two points. Uh, all right. Jono, for your last question in the category of Marvel, who plays Foggy Nelson in 2003's Daredevil? Uh, okay, uh, okay. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, 
John Favreau. That is correct for two points. Impressive. Ah, good, uh, good, good job there record. getting the two points. He needed that. Yeah. yeah. Right. So we go over to Chris. Your remaining categories are sci-fi fantasy, movie release dates, spy movies, Disney, action adventure. Number between one and six, and two is off the table. I'll take one. One is the category of movie release dates. Oh. Take it! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chris, going with going movie release dates. Movie release dates That's though. what I wanted, man. You know I wanted. <laughs> Well, he has to be careful, though, here, because that gives Jono a strength if it comes to a steal. So, hey, but there's always there's always strategy involved, and we'll see how this goes for Chris. All right, your first question in the category of movie release dates. What year was Predator 2 released? Nineteen ninety eight. Wow, for two points, yeah. Yeah. movie release dates. Your next question. 1974 saw the release of which Bond movie? Moonraker. That is incorrect. Jono with the chance to steal. Uh, okay, Man with the Golden Gun. Wow! wow. Two points. Oh my oh. goodness. This is a good match right here. Oh, I'm loving this. All right, Chris, your third question. The comedy Kingpin was released in which year? 1995. Jono, chance to steal. 1996. That is correct for another two points. Oh, my wow. goodness. Jono is running away with the game. Oh. Final question, Chris, in round two. In which year was Guy Ritchie's first movie released? to give you a five count. Five, four, three, two, multiple one. choice. <sighs> Cutting it close there, but whatever. A, 1998. B, 1999. A. C. A is yep. correct for one point, 1998. Lock, stock, two smoking barrels. Damn it. Yep. yep. Wow. Mm. So that did not quite go the way that Chris would have hoped, but... There's still some game left to be played. As we move into round three, and it will go as such. Both of you will get a movie, and you will get the year, genre, and six, uh, three plot keywords at first. If you get it from that alone, you will get five points. However, if you don't know it yet, you can opt for two more keywords, and that will uh, set the point value back to three points. If you still don't know it, then you will get one more keyword for one point, and there is no stealing in this round. Jono, because you are a head, would you like to movie number one? Movie number two. Movie number two, please. All right. Uh, Ryan, would you uh, give Chris his movie? Absolutely. Chris, your year is 2014. Your genre is drama. And your first keywords are musician, parenting, and growing up. Boyhood. Holy wow. shit. Oh. For five uh, points, five. Chris proves that he is not out of this game by a long shot. Okay. Wow. 12, Jono 11. This and he is puts so the pressure right on Jono, which Jono can still easily tie this thing. Easily. And if Jono hits the five, it's over. It's over. Uh, yeah, it is. So, Jono, no pressure. Okay. Here is 1960. Your genres are action, adventure, and western. And your keywords are village, bandit, and Mexican. Uh, I'm going to go with... The Magnificent Seven. And your winner! Oh my goodness! The kid, Stowell! My goodness. This? I knew, I, I knew that before you gave me the keywords. As soon as you said 1960 Western, I was like, 
Yeah, that just shows how release dates being a strength for both competitors really helped them in this round. And this was a battle of the titans. Like, this was an incredible match. Holy cow. Both, I mean, that was a great comeback that Chris had there with Boyhood. But, I mean, sometimes you're just not the best man in the room. And John will prove that he, he, he knew what he was talking about. He knew what he was doing here. I cannot believe the, the steals that went back and forth between them. Just what a crazy match. And that puts me 3-0, doesn't it? It does indeed. It puts you on 3-0, and, and and you're on the road to the belt, man. You are on nice. the road. Nice. I would like to... I, I do actually have, a, have an, an announcement to make. And I said, I said that I would make this announcement if I beat Chris. And my announcement is... Many of you might know that me and Evan, we teamed up to form on the Bow Sox. And we were aware that a very worthy competitor within the Schmodown League is a Boston Red Sox supporter. However, I had had some differences with this person, but I thought, why not fraternize with the enemy, you know? So we have teamed up to form a triple threat. We are forming a team of three, and that person we are teaming up with is known as Chris Day. <laughs> so we got the team of bags. The team of guys are here. The bad guys are here, and we would just like to say, in the words of Tony Montana, so say good night to the bad guys. <laughs> mm. Well, we'll see. Uh, Evan, we'll see Evan is a lot of talk, and he's not showing that much action. But you're yeah, you're I, a power. I, you're you're, you're, you're proving yourself. So. Evan, I believe, has a total of eight points in three matches, so he really has to prove himself. <laughs> how many How many do I have in three matches? Oh. Way more than that. Way more than that. <laughs> I believe it's uh, 45 now. Yeah. Well, I just got 16. And yes. then I got... 14, got 15, 16 equals 45. Oh, so I've now, bro I've, now, I've now broken my own record as well. Yes. Decent. Love it. Love it. Okay, good, good. Hey, Chris, do you have anything to say? Off by one film, off by one year, we'd be singing a completely different tune. <laughs> yeah, man, I mean, it's always hard when it comes down to the little things. It's always the little things that you kick yourself over. But the way I see it is you proved yourself. I mean, getting the five-pointer and getting the steals. So, And it was it was a pretty close game there for a minute. So it just... You got honestly. You got unlucky. That's all it was. So. It was close throughout the entire match. It was just back and forth, and that is that is what I love about this league. That is what I love about this match. It was great. Got some great competitors. Wait, well, if that is everything, then for Ryan McClellan, I am the assassin, Case Cornelissa, and we'll see you the next match. Take care. <laughs>